All right, guys, we've gone ahead and we've gathered us up a couple of sticks here and we them down the center. And we put them into each other so that way they kind of make a cross section. And we've taken this longer piece of dead wood here and put that down on it. And this is basically going to be the basis for our wintertime debris shelter here, guys. And you can do this with using evergreen boughs or you can just use dead pieces of wood. You're, you're still going to need to make it kind of a skeleton frame however you want to do this, but I'm just going to be using stuff that I can find on the forest floor. Evergreen boughs work great, but I always see people using that idea, so I'm just going to do this kind of a little bit different just because everybody's already done the whole pine boughs and cedar boughs and all that stuff, so I'm just going to use whatever I can find laying on the forest floor. But I'm going to go ahead and gather us up some more material. Just keep watching, guys. All right, guys, here's a better look at it. Those two sticks I got right there. You don't have to use those two sticks. You can use a rock or a tree, just something to lean it up against. Of course, I got that long piece of dead wood here. All this stuff that I'm going to be using is dead, so it's the best way to make these so you don't kill any trees. I've already gathered up a bunch of wood here that I'm going to be using for this. Put some on each side. You remember you want to get these sticks as close as you can together. That way you don't have to worry about a bunch of leaves falling through whenever you're stacking the leaves on it. Here's our entrance. You want to kind of keep it about shoulder width apart works best so you can crawl into it. It's not going to have any problems. It's an inside look at the shelter. If you can, it's best to set up where you've got a tree, kind of like this right here, which looks like it's got two trees growing out of it. That way you can just put a dead stick in between it and break it. Works a lot better like that. Alright guys, whenever you're doing this, you want to make sure you get this really high and really thick. And you want to push it down a little bit and you want to add more to it, just kind of like you did with, the, with your debris bed. We're going to take all these leaves and we're going to keep stacking it on top of it. And we're going to get this stuff really, really thick. That way it's going to be 100% waterproof. You don't have to worry about snow and water getting in. And you want to make sure that it's really thick at the top because that's where most of the leaks are going to be. But we're going to go ahead and keep adding to this, gathering some leaves up. Just keep watching guys. Okay, here's a better look at it guys. There's that door. All the way around it. You don't have to worry about any sunlight coming through that that's what you really want to watch for if you don't see any daylight coming through it then that's going to be a pretty good shelter it's going to be watertight for the most part i like to add to it keep it keep going a little but if you've got no sunlight coming through then you're going to be pretty good we've gone ahead and we finished this debris shelter 
took us about three and a half hours to complete it. So it took a lot of time and a lot of energy, but it's going to be worth it because it's going to keep you warm, even without a fire. It's going to be better to have a fire in front of it, put it right about here, and put a heat reflector behind it. That way it'll reflect that heat back inside your shelter. And this is going to be waterproof too, so even if it snows, you're not going to have to worry about anything. It's just going to help insulate it more. Rain, I mean, it's, it's not going to get through there. We've gotten it compressed down so many different times. And one of the things that you really want to remember is whenever you're making one of these, you want to make the, the debris really high on the top. You want to really compress it down up there and add more and more to it. You want the thickest at the top so water doesn't get in because that's where you're going to have most of your leaks. But I want to thank you guys for watching my video. I hope you learned something from it. Subscribe, like, leave any comments, and we'll have more next week. Thanks a lot, guys.